Hey guys, how's it going? So, I've had the validity of my output uh, questioned um, over the past, I don't know, month or so. Because I've got nine panels, which theoretically put out a maximum of five and a half amps each at uh, maximum tracking. And so the math wouldn't add up if I'm doing over, well, let's see, it looks like about 54 amps. So, um, I actually have here an ammeter. Uh, this is a clamp-on ammeter and it does measure amps in DC so I've zeroed it out and right now it's obviously um, trickling back and forth because my aquarium heater is not on right now but it should stop here in just a second so anyway it's reading um, about 54 amps so let's go ahead and check this is the main output to the batteries and 51 looks like right around 51 and a half amps that's actually what it's putting out so the ammeter's off by maybe I don't know, two amps at most. <laughs> so uh, this is actually the output. This is what's going to the batteries right now. It's over 50 amps, okay? I can go ahead and measure it from the solar panels. This is raw output, and you can see it's still right around 50 amps. And now it's zero, obviously, because it just kicked off. And it's still right around 50 amps. So it is accurate. I mean, it, it, it's funny because I got, I called um, I called uh, Midnight Solar and I asked them about a couple of things that I needed and he was actually uncertain as to how I was putting out so much electricity and um, I told him I don't know it's just the way that it is that's my output that's the angle to the Sun that I've got it right now is what it's putting out and there's actually a little bit of an overcast right now so I actually have the potential to put out more than that in fact I've seen it at as high as 72 amps DC at you know obviously right around 14 volts so it does do uh, really well and it's it's consistent um, let's get it down here so looks like oh, I can't there we go about 51.8 and it looks like uh, right around 54 is where it's showing up so it's a couple amps off but still that's just fine <laughs> I mean I, I really don't care if it's a couple of amps off 52.1 now it's gonna zero out because the charger just disconnected so yeah um, I can also look to see what kind of electricity is going through the batteries based on my load. This is also DC. This is one battery, okay? So a single battery looks like the I'm drawing about five. It's fluctuating because the, the panels are kicking in and out. It looks like I'm drawing two amps. Two amps DC from this chain right here. Now let's go ahead and check well, if I can get this around here or not. There we go. <laughs> 17 amps, uh, you know, at about, well, we're looking at about 13 volts. 10 amps, the uh, aquarium heater just turned off. So that's 10 amps. And when the aquarium heater kicks back on, just shit here in just a second, uh, I've got a cover over it right now so it's not coming on as much as it usually does and I usually have my computer running so there you can see the aquarium heater just came on so if I'm drawing 10 amps DC per side I'm looking at about 20 amps because I've got two um, I actually have two inputs here so I'm actually generating more than I'm consuming so but anyway, I just wanted to show you guys that uh, the ammeter up there is accurate within two amps. I'm not fudging the numbers. I'm not doing anything. This is, you know, this is an ammeter. It's a clamp-on ammeter. So that's what it's telling me. And so that gauge up there is fairly accurate. So, all right, guys. Just wanted to let you know. Take care.